Hi everyone, this video will show you how to update the handheld operating system or OS on your TI-84 calculator. Aside from your calculator, you'll need some hardware and some software. Two hardware items are a USB cable and a computer, either Windows PC or a Mac. The software you will need is the TI Connect CE software and the operating system update file. Both are available to download for free. Let's start with the software. Go to education.ti.com, go to Downloads, Apps, Software and Updates. For Technology, select Computer Software, select Connectivity Software, and the next web page will show you a short list of which software to download and install. I recommend the newer TI Connect CE software. I tested it and it works with older TI-84 Plus and the Silver Edition calculators. And it works exactly the same on either Windows, PC, or Macintosh computers. Next, while you're here, download the OS file. The most recent update is version 2.55. After you've installed the TI Connect CE software, run the program you'll see a screen like this. Connect your calculator to the computer. And it should appear underneath the words connected calculators, along with the current version of the OS. This is the older version OS 2.43. If you don't see your calculator appear, then Try a different cable or look inside the connection port of your calculator. There may be some lint or dirt or other crud in there interfering with a solid connection. From the menu Actions, choose the item Send OS to Calculators. You'll be prompted to find the file you downloaded from the Texas Instruments website. This window just verifies that you are going to update the calculator that you want to update, in case you have more than one connected. After you press the send button, it begins to move the new operating system through the USB cable onto your calculator. The process takes about, uh, about three minutes. Now, you may or may not get this error message. I did. So um, do what it says, power off the calculator and power it back on and uh, see what happens. You might have to do this process one more time, but in um, the case of what I did here, it uh, it worked and the operating system was indeed updated. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment. I like the feedback and check out some of my other videos.